Hi everyone, thanks for watching Mocha Bees. Today we're doing a follow-up review of high brew cold brew coffees. And if you remember a couple months ago, we did a review of the Mexican vanilla, salted caramel, and dark chocolate mocha flavors. And if you'll also remember, they weren't particularly my favorite, but that was primarily due to them being sweetened with stevia rather than sugar. But after I posted the review, they reached out to me through Twitter and the company said, well, you have to try our other two flavors, the double espresso and the dairy-free black and bold because those are actually sweetened with sugar. So we're here today to do a follow-up review of these two flavors. These two flavors are under 50 calories each with the black and bold flavor coming in at around 20 calories and the double espresso coming in at 50. And both of these flavors, like the other three we reviewed, are fair trade certified. The first three flavors that I reviewed, I actually found at a Target store. These two flavors just recently started being carried at my local Fred Meyer grocery store, but apparently they also carry them at local Whole Foods markets and a couple other grocery chains. So let's get right to it and try the double espresso flavor. I gotta say, it's pretty fantastic. It is dark rich it has a very robust flavor with just a hint of sweetness it has a thin consistency but it is very flavorful and kind of has a refreshing quality very similar to like iced tea does on a hot day overall this one gets a thumbs up from me i would definitely buy this one again and only 50 calories you can't beat it for eight ounces all right my hopes are high let's go ahead and try the black and bold flavor first we'll give it a sniff the smell is on the mild side. It smells just like strongly brewed coffee, so nothing out of the ordinary. Let's go ahead and give it a taste. If you like your coffee black, this is an excellent choice for you. There isn't any kind of weird sweet aftertaste. In fact, the sweetness in it is barely detectable. I'm detecting slight citrus notes. It's very bright on the tongue, very refreshing. I highly recommend it. If you are a true blue black coffee drinker, this flavor is definitely one you want to give a try. I'm really glad I had a chance to do this follow-up review because honestly, these two are winners, especially if you're a lover of black coffee or something with just a hint of sweetness. The double espresso flavor and the black and bold flavors are both excellent. They're very well rounded on the tongue, extremely refreshing, especially on a really hot day. And the flavor was very enjoyable. It didn't have any of the odd sweetness that kind of came through on the other flavors that were sweetened with stevia. If I had to choose between the two, I'd probably go with the double espresso just because I do prefer a bit of sweetness in my coffee. But really, both of these are winners. If you see them at your local store, I recommend checking them out. So thanks for checking out another review with us. And I just want to say before I wrap things up, thank you so much to those of you who have subscribed this week or left a like or a comment on one of my videos. I really appreciate the feedback and you guys totally make my day. If you'd like to subscribe, you can hit the button at the end of the video. Check out our website at mochabees.com and we'll see you next week. Thanks for watching.